it says, Arif al Amim, this or that is the book, it's actually for Ta'zim. This is the book wherein there is no uh, doubt, a guidance for the people of Taqwa. So the Quran says it's a guide, the guidance, the benefit of the Quran is in this Taqwa. It's not going to guide other people. Like George Bernard Shaw said, the, 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 the trouble with religion, it only benefits religious people. And there's a lot of truth to that statement because that's almost like a tafsir on this. If you already have this component in your nature, this is what's going to benefit you. So the first section, he says, is about the benefits that we can derive from the Quran of taqwa. And there are 15. So in looking at the Quran, you will find 15 benefits that Allah has described about taqwa and what it will do for you. The first one is guidance itself. Hudalin muttaqin. It says that this is guidance for the people of taqwa. So if you have taqwa, you will gain guidance. The next one is nusra, which is victory. So number two, he says, surely God is with those who have taqwa. And this ma'iyya is ma'iyyat al nasr. And then the, the, which means that he's, he's with you and that he'll protect you. And then the third one is al wilaya which is actually that you enter into the protection, the divine protection of Allah. Wallahu waliyan muttaqeen. Allah is the protector of people of taqwa. And then the, the fourth is mahabba, what love. Allah says, surely God loves the people of taqwa. So it's a way of gaining love. And ma'rifa, knowledge. If you have taqwa, God will give you furqan, a discernment. You'll actually have a standard or a criterion by which you can judge things. So Allah will give you discernment, which is one of the gifts uh, of righteousness. In, in Christianity, it's, it's seen as a, literally a gift as a result of piety. So they share with us this idea of piety will actually give you the gift of discernment. And the makhraj from the gham is to be free of depression. It is an antidepressant, literally taqwa. Because Allah says, whoever has taqwa, Allah will give him a way out of his difficulties. So it's an antidepressant. That's what he calls it. And makhraj min al gham. Gham is depression. And then provision, because Allah's word, وَيَرْزُقُ min حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ That he will provide for him from wherever he where he doesn't reckon, where he doesn't think provision will come. He'll provide him from places he never considered. So you'll get provision from places you never thought of. And then uh, the facilitation of your affairs, because Allah says, whoever has taqwa, Allah will make his affairs easy. He'll facilitate them. So you actually get taysir. And they say, taysiru alamat al idhan. That facilitation is a sign of uh, permission that, that when you have facilitation, but it's also uh, one of the fruits of taqwa. And that doesn't mean, and people should not think that it means, taysir doesn't mean things work easy on the outward. The taysir is an inward state. The taysir is an inward state. So I'll give you an example. You know, somebody, uh, they're, they're, people didn't get their visas. And that's, oh, you know, we weren't good enough. We weren't, that's, people should dispel, that's from shaitan, to have thoughts like that. It's just shaitan. Shaitan wants to depress people, make them. No, Allah wants some good for you. And that's why, ajaban li amr al-mu'min, inna amruhu kulluhu lahu khair. How wondrous is the affair of the believer? Because his affair is all good. It's all good. In atahu Allah shakar, if Allah gives him, he's grateful. If blessings uh, reach him, he has this gratitude. If calamities befall him, he's patient and has resignation. And the Prophet said, only the believer has that state. That, that state is a state of belief. So the in, it's an inward state of this yusr. It doesn't mean that outwardly, look how difficult things were for the Prophet ﷺ. There were periods when he didn't eat. There were periods when, when he had no food. You can't say, oh, he didn't have taqwa. He was the imam al-muttaqeen. But he had great difficulties in his life. But his inward state with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's where the ease comes. And then, ghufran al dhunub which is forgiveness of sins. And also, i'zam al-ajr, which is an extreme state of reward. This high, magnificent reward that comes. Allah says, whoever has taqwa, Allah will remove his wrong actions 
and exalt his reward. He'll give him a vast reward. So for what you do that's good, Allah will reward you. And for those things that you do as a human being where you make mistakes and shortcomings, Allah will forgive those, remove those from you. And then taqabbul al-amal, the acceptance of your actions. When there's taqwa, your actions are accepted by Allah. Allah says, surely, innama is adatul hasri. In uh, rhetoric, it's used as a, to mean only. So Allah only accepts those who have taqwa from their actions. If, if you don't have taqwa in your actions, the actions are not directed towards the divine. So, and then al-falah, which is this success, because Allah says, it, and have taqwa of God, in order that you will succeed in what you're doing, you'll have success. And then al-bushra, good news. Allah says they have bushra, the people of taqwa have bushra in this life and in, and in the akhirah, in the next life. And then entering into paradise. Surely those who have taqwa have gardens of blessing with their Lord. So they're going to have gardens of blessing with their Lord. And then salvation from the fire. Because Allah says, we will save all those who have taqwa. And then also success, overall success, mafaza. Inna lil muttaqina mafaza. Surely those who have taqwa are in a state of safety. They'll be in a foes. They'll have victory. So this is a type of spiritual victory that they get. So these are all uh, benefits that are derived in the Quran uh, from the Quran about taqwa, these 15. So I'll just go over them very quick for people who want it. Uh, the guidance, uh, huda, nusra, victory, wilaya, which is uh, this protection from God, mahabba, which is love, ma'rifa, which is knowledge, but spiritual knowledge, not fact knowledge, information. It's a spiritual knowledge. Makhraj min argam, they'll be free of depression, Risk, which is provision. Taysir al-umur, facilitation of their affairs. Ghufran al wa i'zam al-ajr, forgiving their sins and magnifying their reward. Taqabbul al-amal, the acceptance of their actions. Al-falah, success. Al-bushra, good news. Dukhul al-jannah, entering paradise. Al-najatu min al-nar, saved from the fire. And mafaza, and then finally, mafaza is being, it's like salvation, huh? What's that? Successful, you know, the Arabs call the desert mafaza. And, and it's, it's, it's min al-abbad. It means the mahlaka, the place where you're destroyed and the place where you're saved. Mafaza is, it's the place where you're, you're in a state of salvation. So it's really a state of salvation. That's your state.